Okay, so we had to take cover in the new bunker. Stay tuned. Um, later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new bunker and talk about what happened that night and um, how we had to take cover as a tornado passed just pretty much thousands of feet away. Crazy. Well, I don't know if you guys know this yet or not, but we have got ourselves a new bunker next to the house, like five feet from the house. We have already had to use this thing. It was wild. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys didn't know this, we have got a bunker, tornado shelter, I like calling them bunkers, because that's what they are. They're, it's a bunker, I don't care what anyone says, but we've already had to use this thing. You guys know I've been talking about this over the last probably two months. Oklahoma has been getting some horrible weather unlike we've ever seen before consistently. It's not like a tornado here and there. It's literally every storm, golf ball, tennis ball size hell, and tornadoes, tornado outbreak. And you guys know what comes with that. And um, it's power outages. And we've already had to use some of the new systems that we have put into place for our home. And today I'm gonna to show you um, another one. I told you guys here a while back, I was gonna show you guys several things coming up in the future. And Anchor Solex 3800 is one of them. And I think you guys are gonna find this very informative and you're probably gonna want this for your home for backup power especially if you live anywhere you guys are losing power consistently. Even if you're not losing power, you, you will still find uses for this device. Um, so I'm gonna go in and show you guys um, what we got going on and um, I'm gonna hook it up to the house today and bring you guys along with me and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the bunker. But thank goodness we got this installed when we did because I think the very next night or two nights, we we're inside of it. Uh, helping direct you, but that's just to your north right now. So we're going to talk for a minute. Okay, uh, so, so there's a big on, tornado that uh, just so went through again, Claremore. That's where we go all the time. County line road. Strong winds and there's are still another one down that's coming right towards uh, our tornado area. Tornado doing damage. So there's farmlands, ranch lands here. A lot of uh, folks that have homes out here. Due east. So there's prior. It just, yeah. It's coming right towards us. Uh, it was northeast, and then and it now, just. Now it's, uh, what yeah, we're looking at right at this moment, then, if you are in an area that north south 427 road where it intersects 470 road you're yeah, right it's, it's right crazy. there on top of you this at this moment you have guys. to be in a shelter you just have to be in a shelter every time near you take shelter because you don't know what you're Well, that wind just picked up. Yeah. Well, I just received our Anchor pretty much whole house backup system. It's an Anchor Solex F3800 portable power station. What's up, Gracie? What's up? So I'm going to unbox them and then uh, probably put that on charger and then we're going to hook them up. Oh no, the power went out unexpectedly. What are we going to do? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys that today. I'm going to be installing something that you guys can use at your house and you will have a transfer of power in a blink of an eye. Faster than blink of an eye, you won't even notice the power ever went out with this system, so check it out. Yeah, so if you guys are like every other normal person in the world, you love your electricity. We not, None of us like it when the power goes out. It's such an inconvenience, and sometimes it can be life-threatening to certain people in certain situations in their life as far as if you rely on oxygen and things of that nature. This system could actually um, save lives for, for uh, people who need the power to live. You guys know how that is, That's, it's crazy. Okay, we are in the utility room. This is where all our utilities are at as far as the breaker box, water heater, washer and dryer. This is where we're going to be installing a new backup. You can never have too many backups. You need backups to your backups. That's how I've always thought. And we're gonna be installing this anchor today and it's gonna be our main backup power source. Um, and it's gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to get this installed and see it in action. So, we got the new Anchor Solex, like I said, 3800. And um, we'll go into more specs over this here in a little bit. But right now, I've got a system to set up. You guys can see my workstation back in the background. Um, the washer and dryers where I got all my stuff set up. And we're going to be installing a breaker box and the Anchor Solex uh, power box. I'm not exactly sure the name, what they would call this. But we're going to be installing this also. This is where I plug in to the power station itself. And then we'll connect this to a new breaker box. And I'm, going, and I'm going to be hooking that breaker box up 
to a breaker box I'm sticking over here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is mounting this to the wall. Okay, so this is what I got done so far. I got both these boxes put up. Now I'm just running the 10-3 wire. Um, I'm gonna connect it to the Anchor Solex box here, up to the breaker box they sent, and then we'll kind of just go from there. Some ring terminals on these to connect them, right there. That's too big. There you go. Then on there, I got a crimper. Um, so I've already got this side hooked up. There's no power going over here yet. But what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna run uh, my six aug wire through the wall right there and then back up through there and then hook it up here before I hook it up to the breaker box itself. Okay, so here's the whole system. If you made it this far, it means you guys are interested in this and you wanna see this. Um, so the way this works, the way I got it set up, I'll be able to, I just took two, just to show you guys, I took two circuits out of the main breaker Put them on this. I got my, I'm running my microwave and the living room lights and fans in the living room itself. Now I can actually probably set up probably over half the house on here if I wanted to, and um, that may be something I do in the future. But right now for this video, I wanted to show you guys just the basics how it runs. The brains of the operation is right in here, uh, so I'll get this all buttoned up and we'll test it out. But I got the main anchor Solex that I need to uh, get over here, get all this stuff moved up, get it cleaned out, and then I'll set it all up and we'll test out the actually battery uh, uh, power bank running circuits I got set up. Yep, let me button all this up and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we got all that hooked up. Now I'm ready to hook up the power station. So what's cool about this, you don't have to use you don't have to use this just with that. It's got a handle on there that you can pull around with. So this is actually the first power bank that I own that has a true 240 max volt um, built into it, ready to go. I have not had one like this. This is the very first one I've ever had, and um, it is a hoss. This is going to run <laughs> everything that you guys got. I'm telling you. What I'm going to do now, I hooked up that right underneath there. And just, all you do is push it. Let me show you. Just like that. Right there. Just click in. Just like that. Okay, I have to update the firmware. You can see it's updating right here. So as soon as that's done, I will run my test and hopefully we'll get this running in just a minute. Now what I have to do is run a system self-test. I'll be back with that. Okay, I got it all hooked up and right now the only thing this is running is my ceiling fan and lights in the house and um, the microwave. So right now it's pulling 150 watts at 54%. It's going to run it for over nine hours and you can turn your fans off and your lights off and conserve the energy obviously. Um, so like I was telling you guys earlier this actually, had, this is the um, Anchor Solex F3800. That means it um, will run consistently 3800 watts, but it has a surge peak up to 6000 watts. So that is huge. That means this will probably end up running my well house also because it has a big, uh, it has a big surge. will run your welder. This thing's pretty much going to run anything you guys got in your house as big as, thing, as big as this is. That surge is awesome. It comes with six of the 120 volts. Um, I, sh I showed you guys earlier that has a 25 amp max 120 and 240 volt but also has all the normal chargers that these um, power banks come with and works awesome okay so let's put this to the test let's simulate a power outage so right now um, I have the microwave and I have the living room lights on right I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the main breaker and you guys when you guys are doing all this wear your proper uh, PPE and e your personal protection uh, personal protective equipment and um, I'm going to hit that switch right there. But let's walk in here real quick. Okay, as you guys can see, I have it set up to run my living room lights in big giant ceiling fan. I also got it set up so we can run our microwave during an outage. You need to be able to cook, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in here, 
put it on like five minutes and then I'm gonna flip the switch to see if we can tell there's even a power outage at all. So hold on, hold on a second. Okay, got my bowl of water. We'll go ahead and stick it in there. We'll hit, we'll hit a couple minutes. We'll go see how much watts it's pulling. So right now, if I just ran that microwave, it's gonna be pulling 1800 watts and it's gonna run for right at an hour. That's a lot of, you're pulling a lot of watts there and during a power outage or anything like that, you guys are gonna conserve your energy. So use your microwave wisely, but let's simulate a power outage. I'll flip that, but let me set the, let me set the camera up in here. All right, we're running, we're on a minute and 20 seconds still. Let me go ahead and flip this off. So first, like I showed you, you close the main load center, the main breaker, and then you enjoy the seamless transition to backup power within 30 milliseconds with the Anchor Solux F3800 and the home power panel. Now you guys know um, we have most of our house are high energy efficient things. We have them running on propane as far as dryer and our water heater and our oven. So the microwave is literally probably the biggest wattage puller um, in the house uh, minus the main central heat and air, but this could run that also. You can see these lights are still running as it's dark in the laundry room. Let me turn the main breaker back on. You guys can just see what's going on. Now lights are back on. How awesome is that? So right now with the microwave off, I got the light. You know, microwave light actually uses a lot of water, like 50 watts. So you guys turn your microwave light off at night, save some power. Um, but right now we're at 52%. That's running the... Uh, microwave and all that, but that's pretty dang handy right there. How awesome is that? So let me tell you about the Anchor Solux F3800 app that it comes with. You guys are going to want to use, you have to use this um, because you're going to be able to set it up where you can actually charge this um, during the low peak time. So the power, when you're charging it from your house, it's actually cheaper on you to um, charge this and you can set it up where this will actually run your house during the high peak times where electricity is more expensive to buy that's pretty awesome that they have the technology nowadays to do that with these pretty much plug and play um, power bank power bank backup stations pretty cool you can actually set this anchor up um, where it it actually runs off the anchor um, power station during the peak hours of the day so you can actually set it up where say you're at 100 percent but it drains it down to let's say 65 percent and then it goes back to using your power, your other source of power, and it saves you 35% for those emergency re, um, those emergency um, situations. Um, so that's pretty dang cool, pretty smart feature that you can save money using that during the peak time when electricity is more expensive to buy. So don't forget, you can also get solar panels to charge your anchor. Um, say you are without power for several days and you need an alternative way to charge it, you can get the solar panels to do this. Now, we didn't get those this time, um, but that might be something in the future that we might be interested in, but you can get them. Okay, so if you guys didn't know this, the girls are raising ducks and they got a little chick over here. Somewhere. A little, there she, there she is. So we bring the ducks in at night and then take them out during the day, um, put a heat lamp on at night. Let me show you guys this. If the, if the power went out and you're raising animals, especially young animals like this that still need a heat lamp, you can run the um, run this off the Anchor Solex uh, F3800. Turn it on. Bam. Hey, little guys. Staying warm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Emergency backup power is used for all sorts of different things, different scenarios. Even run heat lamps for your little ducks. So that heat lamp alone is pulling 250 watts. That's crazy. All right, so I know a lot of you guys actually enjoy seeing a lot of these um, systems that I show you all. Anchor Solux F3800 is the, is the beast. I do not have one bigger than this. And so far, this thing is working great. It's a Haas. You guys see me install it. It did not take me as long as I thought it was. There's more to it than some of the other things I've done, but this one is actually going to be able to run a lot more different things for a longer period of time. 
Okay, to summarize this whole thing, this is actually, for the kind of setup it is, it's an affordable and easy install. The entry cost is nearly around $4,000. I know that's not for everyone, but if you are looking for something like this, it's actually an affordable um, option. It only takes one electrician, and um, you get a licensed electrician out here to do this, they're probably gonna have this done in less than an hour. And if you don't wanna use an electrician, do what I did and install it yourself. You guys seen it wasn't that hard to do. I just followed the instructions. So let's take a look at what I did. I'm pretty impressed with myself not being an electrician. I think this turned out really well. That's the setup. And like you guys know, you don't just have to have this hooked up to this. You can take that anywhere you wanna go that you need emergency power. Okay, so I hope you guys found this part of the video helpful and useful. And um, if you guys are interested in this, like I said earlier, links down below in the description box, pinned comment, um, get in on the savings and be prepared if you're able to. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far. Okay, back outside to show you guys the bunker. I'm gonna be posting a full bunker installation video. Um, I don't know if I already posted time you guys see this. I don't know when this is actually gonna come out yet. Um, but if you haven't, if I haven't posted it, I will have one soon the whole process of them installing it. And um, we'll talk about the specs and all that stuff, but thank God that we had this installed and it was literally installed a day or two before the tornado went right next to our house. It was a scary situation. I actually heard the tornado coming. Um, as I was closing the door, I heard a big roaring sound in my head. I'm thinking that's gotta be a tornado, it's gotta be. But I didn't tell anyone in the bunker because I didn't want the girls to freak out more than they already were. Um, turn find, come to find out, it was just down the road, literally less than a quarter of a mile between mine and Kevin's house. It's crazy. And I haven't told you guys this yet, but we, um, the tornado actually hit the creek property and we got a lot of big down trees, other big mature trees. Um, we just had Jackie over there doing some work for us and cleaning stuff up. Now I gotta do some cleaning up myself. And um, yeah, so we'll be making videos on that, like some big trees that went across the creek and over roads, missed, one missed the camper barely. It's been a mess here in Oklahoma, um, but that's the least, that doesn't even matter over there. There's people out in town that have way worse than what we've, we're fortunate, very fortunate. So, but that's just, I just want to tell you guys that as far as we do have damage out there, I'll show you guys some of that, but that's literally nothing compared to what some of these families are going through. So I don't want to take away from that's going on over in town with the Creek property stuff. But anyways, let me open this up and show you guys real quick. Okay, so we've had one of these in the past at the other house and we've been needing one really bad here. And um, we've cleaned it out as far as the chairs since the storm itself, I don't know if you guys can see in there, because we need to sweep in stuff in there. Actually, I'm probably gonna leave it open and let it air out because it still smells of um, the stuff they put on the sides of the sillet. But you can see, we finally got our bunker. I think it will actually fit like 12. And I gotta do a lot of <laughs> cleanup here. Look at all the rock. Look at all this rock that they dug out by the house. That's a lot. We live on a big rock pile. So hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Big thank you to Anchor for sponsoring today's video. We couldn't do things without you guys and sponsors like Anchor. And um, we're just very um, thankful and fortunate of all you guys. And uh, we love you guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said earlier, if you are interested in Anchor F3800 and the home power um, box, I will put links down in the description box and a pinned comment. You guys can click those if that's something you're into. All right, catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.